All right, so let's just start off with the Apple then. Bob Zucker like showed up. Um, the, uh, what was it? One of the main, the major things, uh, I guess, was iOS 7. That was the major thing um, for, for the iPhone. And, um, you know, I haven't even, people, I haven't even right? looked at iOS 7. I, I just... It, it, more of following Android or, or decent stuff, or for that matter, I didn't look at I/O or anything going on there either. I just kind of slept on both. Well, uh, I, I, the feedback I'm seeing is a lot of people don't like the new UI, which has happened before to Apple anyway. Um, there, there are people that swore when the iPhone 4 came out when they were when they were moving away from the 3GS that even some even in some of the biggest fanboys, uh, Apple fanboys said when it was leaked that no, there's no way that Apple would design something like that. And then they had to eat their words when it. Oh uh, yeah, the 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 uh, design that looked like an HTC phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, they just didn't, they couldn't believe it and all their stuff. And uh, there's a lot of flack, I guess, for for uh, iOS 7's. UI, but there's also this is not going to be the first time and last time in Apple's history. History that people bitch about the UI. Um, I, uh, I, I mean, o o OS 10. You, UIs, you know, o you know o o OS 10's mission control comes to mind on that topic. They did solve it with apps. They gave you APIs to do it. So there are apps like I can go right back to Spaces again. Uh, from my end, and um, so I just don't use the, the mission control hub, if you will. And Tiger, OS 10 Tiger was a lot like that. We had so many mods for OS 10 Tiger back in the day that you could make it look like Windows. You, you, you know what? Like that was button. the number one complaint when Leopard came out for the in the Tiger days because a lot of those mods went away and all of a sudden you it, couldn't right. customize the OS 10 UI anymore. It's, yeah, well, what? you could if they were rewritten for the new person. You could do less. You could get there with a lot more work. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but iOS 7, I like how it looks um, way better than, than the original UI. Now, colors, People don't like colors, and I, uh, Apple is appealing to some of its larger uh, demographics with those colors, which I think is the female um, end of things. And 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 the people, uh, you know, the, a lot of the new demographic that makes up Apple, I think, adheres to to the color. From what I heard, I guess you can change it around, though. And I'm not I'm not sure on that. I'm not positive it can be changed. I, I, that doesn't seem very Apple-ish. That would surprise me but, if you really could. But I do like it. I, I like it a lot. I hate it with a passion. The direction Apple was going with denim and leather. You know, and I kept screaming at Apple. Uh, my computer is not you know it's not a pair of clothes. I don't want to freaking wear the the, the user interface. You know? well, well, that's better than calling it kitten. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, now everybody's like, "Oh, it, it looks a lot like Android, and it looks like a lot of like Windows Phone." Well, let me just say this: Apple or Windows and Android, um, among other now dead mobile OSs, understood that flat gives you actually more pixels per se visually, visually. Uh, as a perception to the user's eye for clicking and things. It's, it's, it's friendlier to a touch interface. And because you, you don't have to worry about about drop off or, or pixel shading or, or having any other type of thing where that still may be a touch region but not perceived to be by the end user. And um, so people are pissed that like, Apple's uh, copying this and that. And, uh, well, I, but I you, you know what? To 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 okay, copy. to quote. To quote Steve Jobs in the early days of Apple, good artists copy, great artists steal, and Apple is, I guess, a good artist these days instead of a great one. But it, it, let's face it, the Android UI works, and it's becoming the expectation of the end user. I mean, there's a growing number of users who are, the first time they get their hands on an iDevice, 
You're like, but it doesn't work like my Android. I know how that yeah, works. But there's, I know. <laughs> and, there's, but, and the same goes for people who've been on iOS their entire life, too. I, I said maybe my wife, but uh, I'm sure that there's, there's, there's cross and, and you know, sections and exceptions in other place, but um, I, I, I like it and I don't I really don't give a damn if, if people say it's you know it's their opinion. I, the beauty is subjective but I think uh, I really like the direction they went. Now um, the I, I will give them this the new direct everybody is gravitating to WebOS and how WebOS functions. Including um, Android, including to a degree Blackberry, including to a degree yep. Windows. Everybody's going to what the master was. Like I bitched about years and years ago that that was the pinnacle and everybody thought I was stupid and shit. And lo and behold, that's what everybody wants to fucking be. So, so be it. You know, I'll say I told you so. And, um, you know, we'll leave it at that. I'm just glad that people... The, the developers and companies realized what WebOS was and, and uh, Phil, you know, Philip that we used to have on here occasionally said it best. He said, WebOS may be, may be a dead operating system, but it lives on in others, which I think is, is pretty damn cool. Do we now, know if there's any developer pushing going on there? I mean, do we know what happened to the WebOS team after uh, Adobe, excuse me, after um, Palm went down and everything? Are they LG, picked, LG picked up some, and I think WebOS is, is going to be in televisions. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, televisions? Uh, the, the, okay. The, the thing of it is, is that uh, um, I think it's just a lot of people really, oh, yeah. The thing of it is, is that the looks is good and the swiping is good but the function is not really good that's pretty much what I put on Twitter I said look I like it but hey the beauty is only skin deep with, with iOS for me and they may be able to swipe the applications away but I guarantee you those, that swiping behaves just like the, the bullshit uh, browser history quasi doc thing that you think you're killing apps and that's that's to say the structure is not the card system that, that WebOS was uh, well, but, but you know, to be honest, that's always kind of been Apple's approach. I mean, it wasn't that long ago. It's a few years old now, but uh, back in the day, I mean, this was an OS X problem. Apple doesn't like to actually kill things. They just like to give you the appearance it's gone away for simplicity. No, 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 no. That's the opposite. Just the opposite. That's what I'm pissed off, that they did kill stuff. That, that they did it automatically. For instance, if I had a, if I had a spreadsheet open and I wanted to go open up another app, WebOS would tell me you have too many cards open. Uh, you know, go ahead and do something before this one gets before this gets open. Apple would kill it. It would just I would I, would, I lost work uh, quite a few times on iOS because it was pushed out. It was killed. No, but that's Android, what that's what I'm beginning would manually tell you to kill. Time. Yeah, it would have the force quit and the other stuff. But now, right? But but see, but what we're getting on there is, and it really, this is a philosophical philosophy for humans in general, not just in technology. Do we want it to do the work for us, or do we want to make our own damn decisions for ourselves? Well, OS 10 doesn't do it. I mean, my desktop version of OS 10 does not kill apps. If, if I have too much stuff running, it slows down, and, and I begin to see signs. Oh, okay, this, this, uh, I need to do something. Maybe let me kill some app, uh, applications or whatnot. That happens also on my BlackBerry device. In the play button, actually, an application warning at one time. I never saw it again, but it, it, it did give me one time. My, my BlackBerry phone will just slow down. It doesn't push it out. It just Acts like a desktop. Start well, and to my knowledge, nobody right now is doing the ideal arrangement, which would be the option for smart management and the ability to disable it if you're a more sophisticated sure. user. Exactly. And not nobody has that offering right now. It's either sure. one way or the other. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and when I said WebOS did it automatically, WebOS would say, hell no, I'm not opening this. You have too many cards open. Go ahead and take it. So, um, the, 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 yes. I, I think I put on Twitter that I said the one thing that Apple could learn to do is switches. You know, like a switch to turn flash on or off. You know, a switch to let me manage the application versus the operating system and so on and so forth. So. Uh, and, th and they can set the default for their target grandma user all they want, as long as there's a toggle in there for me to set it how I want. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I was saying, I mean, you, if you want to boot into the 64-bit version, you have to do a few things. And, 
uh, I don't think it's that hard to bring Cody into Iowa to to let the pros be pros. But, but yeah, that's my take on Iowa. Say I, I do well, have but okay, but let's be honest. The Apple approach is if we haven't done it all for you, you, you we obviously you, you're not our. Yeah, but let's see. OS ten continues not to be that way. Even in the latest iteration of Mavericks, it's most of all the underpinnings are still there. It's just they're making defaults more friendly for other people. But you turn all that damn shit off. Okay, I haven't messed with the last two incarnations of OS X. Is it still as easy to get in there and change all the defaults to what you want? So it's like that first weekend that you bring your computer home and you have to or install or whatever and make it everything like you want by default. Or is some of it now a little more obscure? Well, I don't have my hands on Mavericks, um, but uh, uh, when I went to Lion Mountain, it was, it was pretty simple. Okay. They didn't change any of the, 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 that internal stuff. Yeah, I mean, as long as it's nothing more than a weekend for a sophisticated user to change all the defaults to what they want and they're not in their way, then I understand having the default package be grandma friendly, because that's just good user experience. Uh, sophisticated users will be sophisticated users. Unsophisticated users, the lowest common denominator. It, it's, um, but it should never be. I should never be in a boxing match with my system to get the behavior I want out of it. If that's the case, it's an automatic fail, no matter who it's helping. Now I get you. The more switches you have, I understand footprints in the mobile world, the battery power, and all that sort of stuff. But hey, you know what? We don't have to make everything a damn package. It, there's nothing wrong, and, I, I, and people would buy into it and applause at a, at a keynote if they said, if you're a pro user on our, on our iPhone and you decide to switch here and there, battery life will be this. If you decide to do this, battery life will be this. Okay, great. And us at Apple, we let you choose to do that. Now, this stuff may be the first to probably be out there because Android's going in the opposite direction with Google that it first started. Yeah. Um, so, they're almost uh, going an Apple-ish route. You know, well, and you know, I've always thought of battery light in the same way I think of returns on investments. Up to. This is the theoretical max it can do, but every case is going to be different. <laughs> Because well, and I would say, yeah, well, no, I mean, it's the same thing with laptops and everything else. It, it, it's I don't know when the most important spec on something became how how many uh, shiny blingy things and how many supposed battery life at the expense of all productivity, you know, became the measuring mark. I mean, I overramped something. I got 30 minutes of battery life, but I got everything I got wanted done. What do I care? You know. That's, yeah. In other words, Apple could be more friendly in saying, "Hey, swap it. We're, we're going to start like you swap out batteries." Or, which is another just, thing. I, I the know party vendors don't have a hard time doing like the, the fraud juicers and stuff. And I've seen people charge their iPads with these backup stuff that they bring. They plug it in, and charge the iPad up, and so. Uh, well, and, and they, Apple could just say, "Look." These products are sufficient for Well, and sadly, Apple is kind of winning by a de facto lack of balls in the industry in that across the board, both in smartphones, t uh, slates, and even laptops now, the whole industry is switching over to internal no-removable batteries. Uh, very few new systems being built actually have removable batteries, and that's right. at best problematic. So you win by default because the option that beats you is no longer on the market, which is not... Well, my BlackBerry has swappable. It's easy to it, flip the back. And yeah, but it's one of the few that. that does. I mean, even the Nexus line has switched oh, off. Oh, you of, would piss off BlackBerry. It, totally. No, no it, it, to be honest, it's the reason I don't have a Nexus 10 and a Nexus 4. They're back in stock, but I realized uh, no SD cards, no removable batteries. I'm like... Those are the two features I love about Android devices. What the fuck did you do to my Android device? <laughs> so, but that's my take. That's my take on uh, iOS seven. I'll, I'll, I'll have a more depth uh, uh, thing when I when I get to iOS eleven. Uh, since you talked about uh, it on the video, send a link. We'll link over to it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um,